Hi, so it's that time of day again. It's that time of the conference again, um, the closing session. Uh, EuroPython 2021 is almost over. We still have the sprints to go and I will have a slide on that one as well. It was the 20th EuroPython conference. I think it was an extreme good success. We had more than 2,100 tickets registered. Uh, a huge number for an online event, I think. Uh, we, last year we had about uh, half of that, maybe a bit more. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go through um, some slides now to thank everyone who needs to be thanked and uh, also to give them some applause, even though it's virtual. Let's see how it goes. So before I jump into the actual closing, I just wanted to highlight the sprints that are scheduled for tomorrow, for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the sprints will happen in Matrix, and there are sprint rooms uh, already installed in Matrix. You can go there and then uh, you know, discuss. You can do text chat. You can do video chat in there using the Jitsi widgets. Um, but there's something that's very important. Of course, we need to have a number of sprints scheduled for this, right? And uh, right now, we do have a couple. But as you will see on the following slide, there are so many people who want to join the sprints that we can easily have more sprint projects on the schedule. So I would ask you to please go to this URL. Uh, you can find that URL if you go to our website on the sprints page, or you can just uh, go directly to the Python wiki and then navigate uh, to, to the URL EuroPython2021 slash sprints, and then you can add your sprint there. So we still have quite a few rooms left I think we have a total of 15 rooms uh, for the for the sprints. So please do. Right, that said, now let's go into the actual slides. So EuroPython 2121 statistics. So EuroPython was really, really big this year. So we had more than 2,100 tickets sold or registered. And we're still counting. People are still registering for tickets. We had a total of 1,600 or more than 1,600 attendees from more than 80 countries around the world. And this is based on unique email addresses. So it's, it's a bit difficult for us to count the actual attendees at the conference because uh, we only you know, get numbers from, let's say, how many people registered in Matrix or uh, how many people are um, you know, buying, buying tickets. Sometimes people buy more than one ticket. So uh, that's, that's basically the, the count that we have for this year. 1,600 is a record for EuroPython. We've never had more attendees. So that's a really nice result. We sold 300 or more than 360 combined tickets. Combined tickets are the ones that include training. Uh, 370 conference tickets, 470 sprint only tickets. And now you have to uh, consider that the combined tickets and the conference tickets, they can also participate in the sprints. So there are more than a thousand people waiting for the sprint team. So that's going to be very exciting tomorrow to see how that goes. Uh, plus, we also added this view only ticket for this year, uh, actually for the first time. And that was hugely popular. So we, we had uh, 970 view only tickets registered. Uh, and that's probably something that we're going to do again because it's it's really it's it's a huge success it's you you engage people a lot more than by just putting streams on YouTube uh, view only tickets is free so that was a nice thing uh, for us to do we had 18 sponsors which is eight sponsors up from last year which is also amazing and uh, I have a feeling that the sponsors felt quite at home at the conference there was more engagement and uh, you know more people coming to them so Overall, I think this was, and we can, we can probably say this was one of the largest EuroPython events that we ever had. A big thanks goes out to our sponsors, especially the Keystone sponsor, Optiver, and also Microsoft and Bloomberg as the diamond sponsors. But I also like to thank Trayport, JetBrains, Numberly, Auth0, Google Cloud, Vonage, Terminus, DB, Stack Builders, uh, Scout APM, that's a bit small, River, Riverbank Computing, uh, they have been sponsoring us for, for ages. I don't even remember when they started sponsoring us. They have been with us for, I think, since the beginning. Um, Edimion, Remaster, Manning, No Starch Press, and Pact. So 
big applause goes out to them. Let's just you know, do this like this, maybe. Um, and then also, of course, a thank you to all our speakers and attendees. So we had more than 130 sessions for this EuroPython by more than 140 speakers. So that was absolutely amazing. And I think uh, all the speakers did an excellent job. And so they deserve an applause as well. So let's give them another applause. And then I'd like to thank the attendees as well. The attendees, not only for attending, but also for being nice citizens, because we have zero conduct reports, which is really nice. And of course, we'd like to keep it that way. So we're going to ask you to follow the code of conduct next year as well. So who's going to make, who's making all of this happen? Um, a small team, a small team of volunteers. And this is the team. And I want to, uh, I've prepared a small video so that we, we do get uh, some applause. So let me just play that. Okay, this is the list of all the people that we had in the in the team. Uh, the the people in red here are the board members of the European Society, and all the blue members are uh, the work group members and volunteers and session chairs and um, basically everyone who helped at the conference. So a big thanks to everyone. A big thanks to all the volunteers who've helped, who'd made this this work. It was all done on free time. It was all volunteer work. No one got paid for this. Uh, this is is very important for us to to you know have everyone basically in the same kind of situation, um, and to make it you know viable for for everyone to join the the organization and to help out. So, for next year, of course, we are asking again for volunteers to help in the work groups. Um, if you want to know how much work it is, it's probably going to be around 100 hours of work, mostly starting in March. Um, there's more work available, of course, if you like. Uh, you can work as much as as, uh, as you have free time for this. If you want to uh, sign up as a volunteer for next year, then uh, please write to board at europython.eu. We will probably, again, have introduction sessions, uh, you know, short conference calls uh, early next year, maybe in February, to then explain how everything works. Um, and then we usually then also onboard you to the to the teams. Um, the legal backup behind Europython is Europython Society, as some of you may know, Europython Society runs Europython the conference, enters all the contracts, uh, takes the financial risk and so on. But it also supports the European Python community. So and that may be a little known fact, we do give out grants to other groups organizing conferences in Europe and also to, to projects. If you run a project and you need financial support, then please contact us and we can, we can help you if it fits our, our mission. Uh, so it has to be in Europe. It has to uh, be related to, to Python, of course. Everything is volunteer driven in your Python society as well. No one gets paid. So this is completely done on free time. This is the EuroPython Society board. So we have Anders, Chuck, Francesco, myself, Martin, Nicholas, Reichel, and Sylvia. Um, I'm still listed there as a chair. Uh, this will be my last year as a chair of the conference. So starting next year, I'm going to participate as an attendee and perhaps a speaker again. So I'm actually very much looking forward to that after doing this five years. Um, so we're going to have a new person do the chairing next year. There is a general assembly later this year. Uh, this is where the members of the European Society meet, and then they vote on, among other things, the new board. So if you want to uh, be part of the EPS, become a member, then please go to the members link that we have on the website, and you can sign up. It doesn't cost you anything, um, and then you can have your say as well. Right, so we loved having you. Uh, have a good trip home. That's what we normally say at the in-person conference. Uh, I think it's better to stay to say stay safe and stay healthy and uh, don't get COVID. And um, 
I, I very much hope that we can meet in person again in Dublin next year. The conference next year is going to be July 11th until 17th. And uh, yeah, I will, you know, I would really like to see everyone again in person and so that we can actually, you know, shake hands. So we can go out for a beer, we can have dinner together, we can enjoy the conference talks directly. Uh, and that would be a great thing. So hopefully it'll happen like that. We would like to ask you to, to spread the word about Py uh, EuroPython, about the conference, what you uh, thought was good about the conference. And, and bring all your friends to the conference next year. Uh, I am going to send around a feedback form tomorrow so uh, that you can give us your feedback. And of course, then we will take your feedback into account for organizing next year's conference. Right. And this was all. Now it's party time. So I think we're going to stay in this room unless, um, unless uh, Nicholas gives me different instructions. And uh, we're going to start in two minutes, it seems. So that's it. Thank you very much.